I want to begin by saying that we accept the verdict of the people of Goa. Our candidates fought a good election, fought bravely, fought against several obstacles, and 11 of our candidates and one of our ally, the Goa Forward Party, have won. The people of voted the BJP to power and we accept that and we wish the people of Goa very well. In several constituencies we have lost by very small margins. Now it might be self-evident that in a small constituency like in Goa the margin also will be small that I accept. But in many cases, if you do a closer analysis, you will find that a couple of things are very clear. The first thing that is very clear is the people of Goa wanted a change, but in their voting in their voting behavior, they could not bring about the change. I say this because the winning party, the BJP, got only a little over 33% of the vote. The overwhelming majority of the voters voted against the BJP, but those votes were split among many parties which gave the BJP an opportunity to win 20 seats. The second is that although we communicated the message, if you want change, vote for the Congress, do not split the votes among other parties. We accept that that message was perhaps not communicated as effectively as it should have. That message was heard by all Goans, but they reacted differently and voted largely for the Congress party, but also voted for other parties, especially the new entrants to the electoral field in Goa. As a result, the non-BJP votes were divided, in some cases hopelessly divided, which gave BJP a free pass to victory in that constituency.